Hi there, guys. So I just wanted to make this video. I hadn't um, made a video in a few days. Um, things were getting pretty just kind of stressful, just really, really overwhelming. And then uh, with all the other stuff surrounding last month um, and all of that, that, that went on that I, I really, I, I still don't want to talk about it, but um, it was uh, it, it, something that happened that I, that I had to take care of that I told you guys about already. Um, and that was just a really big stressor. I'm still in the process of it, just not um, as much as I was. Um, you know, but I guess this video here is about remembering and learning to, in all things, continue to maintain your peace. Um, because one of the, one of the things with me, and I think I've always been this way, is I get, um, I get really involved in stuff and I want to know the reasons behind and why and, and stuff like that. That is just how my brain works. And so in wanting to know that kind of stuff, I do a lot of digging, you know, when I hear the kind of, the kind of heart that I have and compassion that I have for people, when I hear stuff about, you know, these men out here trying to, you know, kill black, black women and, you know, just, just all of the negative hyper masculinity, um, these groups and, and all these things, you know, I get very intense about it and um, I'm at the point right now to where I'm not saying that I'm not going to talk about it anymore, but I have to take a little bit of a step back only because at the end of the day, it, it's not something that honestly affects me personally and that that is not to say at all that because it doesn't affect me personally I don't want to help other women I mean that's what I've been doing um or, or talking speaking to other women and you know giving my advice my opinion whatever you know but um I take that stuff real real serious and it really it gets to me in a way that you know, it'll, it'll come out two, three o'clock in the morning, you know, where I'm, you know, thinking about it and, you know, getting answers and things like that. And, you know, I know the answers, the answers are there. The answers are, are, are real and true and it'll work for some, but at the end of the day, um, I've done a lot of, uh, I wasn't just really sitting around these past few days while I wasn't videotaping or anything. Um, I was actually, um, I was still watching stuff. I was still watching documentaries and still reading and all that kind of stuff. And one of the things I started doing, uh, I guess, research on, it, it wasn't really research, it was just something that I started hearing about, I looked into it and I began to, you know, kind of go from video to video and, you know, kind of start looking up things like that. But at the end of the day, you know, um, a lot of the things that is happening right now with, you know, these men with these very loud, negative, toxic voices is that, they they have a platform, like they have a microphone to speak from. Um, and just honestly, a lot of the good men, 
lot of the men who are out there working and really doing stuff for their families and really do want a wife and really do, you know, want these things. Uh, not to say that they aren't toxic either. You know, everybody got some something. But I am just mean the ones who are different from those toxic, crazy, sitting in the basement, plotting to kill folks. And, you know, I don't, I, can't, I don't think I can say that word. Uh, plotting to off people and stuff like that, uh, you know, are a lot more prevalent for some reason. And, you know, to sum that up, I'm, I've, I've come to discover a lot of these men are dealing with mental illness, just, just plain. They're, they're dealing with mental illnesses. And they're de dealing with social anxieties. They're dealing with um, uh, personality disorders. Uh, a lot of them have not even recovered from co uh, the COVID lockdown and everything. That actually did a whole lot to people. And, and especially people who were kind of not already there. It, it seemed like it... it did more damage to them. And, and this is the statistical, we've already heard these things, uh, but sometimes we forget about it, <laughs> you know. Um, but, and then there's another thing I looked at, um, Tanya TKO, and I'm gonna go ahead and shout, shout it out. Um, I watch her sometime. She did a video and it was an excellent video. And it was simply called, What Are Black Men So Angry About With Black Women? It was a call-in show. And I, I I happened to see it. I didn't catch it on that day, but I happened to watch it. And I listened for a little bit over an hour to about maybe four calls from the men. And at the end of the day, my summary, they didn't have no reason. The men that called in didn't have any reason to be angry at black women. I mean, one said black men ain't angry at black women. That's just some men. Two of them were saying something about they not mad at all women, just the ratchet ones. To which common sense and even, you know, Tanya herself was like, just don't choose them women. Like that's like, I mean, it, one of the one of the things about that is like you're gonna always have people, and you have always had people like that in the world. Like that is the oldest profession in the world, you know. So you're gonna always have women like that. And first of all, you're gonna have women like that because it's gonna always be a demand for it. You know what I'm saying? So. It just kind of is what it is. Um, the other guy who I actually think was the first guy, he had called in and he said he was saying something about, and at first of all, I believe the guy was lying. I, I don't, because his story just didn't sound right. You know, basically he just took some woman into his house and she just started tripping and acting a fool with him and uh, you know, told him that his house was filthy and everything, which he said it wasn't, but, you know, and she started hitting on him or whatever. And uh, basically, I mean, it's like he was telling a joke because then he talking about, well, nobody protects me. And, and you know, and, you know, if, if I had hit her and whatever, and, you know, like, you know, y'all think it's funny that, you know, I'm I'm a big guy and this woman's hitting me and I don't get any protection. And she's like, dude, you sound stupid. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because then you say that, but then in another breath, you're talking about, you know, how you this big, strong guy who could have knocked the H out of her. And I'm like, it, it, it was stupid. So each and every one of those guys who called in, like they, there was no reason. There was absolutely no reason to whatever it is, all this anger at just black women as a whole, except for the fact, um, jealousy and competition, like that, that was the base of it all. They're jealous of, of women getting up, going out, achieving, making it happen, even when, you know, they're leaving them with babies and, you know, trying to ruin their life and everything. The women are still doing it, still making it happen. And 
you know, is basically one of those things that, you know, they ain't crap and ain't doing crap and don't want to do crap. They bigger, stronger and more aggressive. And so they hurt women. And that's it. Like, I, I don't I don't see anything else. You know what I'm saying? So, and then, like I said, you know, there's this whole subculture that I, I've learned about, about something called incels, <laughs> uh, involuntarily celibate, whatever, some, some, something else to the meaning of those words, to those uh, acronyms. But, I mean, in a way, when you think about that, like, you've kind of always had that too. Like you've always had the geeky white boy, nerdy little, and that's, I say white boy because that is historically like what it always was. The geeky little nerdy guy who no girl wanted and he, in his mom's basement, and he's just kind of weird and socially awkward and never with a girl, a girl don't want him, girls laugh at, you know what I'm saying? But you've had that all the time. And I guess now black men are identifying with that or, or try, or I think it's more than that. I think there actually really is a global um, situation. Matter of fact, I know that there is a global situation where women at the end of the day are really are raising their standards and they're just not dealing with or wanting to deal with um, BS for men, just just at the end of the day. And, you know, basically you got men out here just throwing tantrums, you know. So discovering that, um, that a lot of this is, 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 is just, a lot of these men seriously just need to be medicated, really. Um, have nowhere to, to, to put their aggression and an overabundance of testosterone that's making them ag aggressive. Um, and, and so you have these things happen, you know, and I, I still advocate for women protecting themselves and arming themselves and all of that. Um, but, you know, you got that issue and, you know, just other things that were kind of going on in, you know, my life. I got, um, you know, some stuff going on with my apartments and management. Uh, basically, at the end of the day, this is a, you know, it was a, a mistake, a clerical error, I guess you can call it, that they absolutely made and just causing my rent to just increase, increase, increase. And, you know, instead of them doing the right thing and just taking the charges off and giving me an apology, you know, they're trying to just you know, let it accumulate and try to make it seem like I'm not paying my rent or my bills or whatever. And it's just a crazy thing. You know, um, I, I think somehow they feel like if they do try to take off the charges or whatever, you know, maybe it would, you know, hit corporate and corporate's going to start wondering, well, why is money being deducted? Like, why are you? Then they have to explain the fact that they made a, a huge error, you know. So at the end of the day, their solution is just try to get rid of me, you know, and try to evict me, you know, uh, but I'm fighting it. And so they're mad and they're angry and just for lack of, uh, of any other better word, they're just being bitches right now to me. Um, and I've had so many people tell me that, you know, I, I need to, you know, try to gain some legal action you know, with this. And I, I, right now I am working with, um, some people right now. So, but that's been stressful, <laughs> you know, um, and I have been allowing, as I said, a lot of stuff to steal my peace and, um, just kind of just overwhelm me. And I've been, you know, going to bed and, you know, waking up, shoulders tight, but I also haven't had my massage lately, but um, shoulders tight, neck tight, headache. I mean, it's just been really, really bad. Um, and so last night, you know, I had to get there and really just tell myself that, you know, 
today and the rest of the time that whatever goes on, I, I'm gonna have to get my peace back. So I'm gonna have to do those things that I know that brings me peace. Um, and I have done that all day, you know, um, I'm speaking positive. I burnt me a peace candle. Uh, and I have done those things that will get me back to a place of where, you know, I should be and should be thinking correctly because, you know, like I say, it just becomes overwhelming at a certain point. And that's really how, whatever you want to call it, the devil, whatever, like that's where they, you know, that's where people and the devil <laughs> want you to be because you're easier to aggravate, you're easier to annoy, you're easier to um, just all this stuff when you're upset and you're not thinking correctly, you know? And so it's so important to keep your peace. And the only reason I was bringing up the stuff about the men and the, the type of commentary I do, you know, is that at this point and at this time, you know, I'm going to step back just a little bit because, you know, that right there is like added stuff that I don't need in my life. And you got so many brilliant and younger women out here who are ready to do this, take this fight on, and they are good at it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know my advice is good. I know what I have to say is practical and everything, but still, like I say, it 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 bothers me because like i say at the end of the day i realize that a lot of what actually really is going on is mental illness like a lot of these little little boys was on the short bus a lot of these little boys growing up was with adhd and all you know and all and i'm not saying that's crazy but i mean i'm just saying it's not a normal working brain their brain works different and they're very, you know, I've been learning a lot about men's behavior. Men impress other men. They, that's just like what they do. Maybe that's how they wired, you know, but they don't, men don't um, necessarily, maybe some do, because I, I can't put nobody in no box, uh, but a, most men do things to impress their friends and to to impress their buddies over a woman. Even the getting of a lot of women a lot of times be to show off to other guys. And it's crazy, but, you know, that's, that's another thing that I'm, you know, beginning to realize. And to me, that kind of stuff is just stupid and foolish. <laughs> you know, the older I get, my tolerance for, for, BS is just, you know, zero. So, and maybe that's also why it gets me because when it's just dumb, stupid, foolish, and don't make no sense, you know, that, that's where I am in my life. So, um, guys, I'm going to still be making videos. I, I am. I just don't know um, at this point, like, you know, when I'm going to, like, really get back to it because... I may or may not be in uh, some form of, of transition these next few months. Hopefully, I, I will be in a very big, nice transition. You know, I'm working on that, too. Uh, it's going to happen one way or another. Um, but either way, um, I don't need any added stress. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm going to take a little break. Uh, and I'm going to, I don't know, when I come back, I may even have different type of commentary. Like, I'm really not even sure, really not even sure. But, you know, I, I advise a lot of you women to do the same thing. You know, when stuff in life just starts getting overwhelming and when it's just too much, just crazy, ridiculous, like for what reason type stu stupidity and foolishness, a lot of times it is a sign you know, when you're, when you're angry and people just, just messing with you and it's just like stuff happening and that, because that don't happen in my life. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that don't happen in my life. And it may sound cliche or religious or whatever, but I know my life, you know what I'm saying? And 
I know when all kind of resistance and just craziness and all that stuff just start coming at me for no reason, especially women, when I start getting them, you know, messing with me and all that, usually this is, this is I'm about to be blessed, like very, very blessed. I, I really am. And that's usually a precursor. You know what I'm saying? And when you're in that time, it's very important for you to watch what you say, who you're around, the negativity, all of that, because you're at a very, very vulnerable spot. Like your blessing and all that could go almost any way. You got to keep positive. You got to keep speaking positive. You know, those, what do you call it? That resistance comes to you a lot of times to get you off course, to make you say some old negative crap. You know what I'm saying? And so you have to be very, very mindful of what you say and and how you um, behave. Because at the end of the day, you got to know everything is going to be okay. Um, and I do. I know everything is going to be okay. Just even just a few months from, I may not know how things are going to work out, but I know just, just a few months from now, things are going to change for me financially. Things are going to, um, I really seriously wouldn't mind retiring coming up next year. I think I may be in a position to do that, uh, to travel, you know, might start traveling and documenting my, um, my travels and things like that, you know, that would be an absolutely fantastic thing to do because I'm definitely going to do that. But, you know, you get this opposition to to make you doubt, to make you like, because you know things are good. You know, you know, you're going to be blessed. Like, you know these things, but you get this opposition, you know, and I had to remind myself, like, you know, these people don't, like run my life or rule my life or have any say so in my life like I direct my life and I have been directing my life like that for for uh, many years now I speak my own destiny and I cause what I want to happen in my life like I've been doing that but you know when you when you get shaken and when you get off course you know a lot of times because that's the situation that's going on right now with my apartments. It's like, and these women ain't controlling nothing. Like they can say what they want to do. They can try to evict me. They can, you know, they can not want me here because they, that's pretty much it. They just want to get rid of me, you know? And it's so crazy. Cause like I'm saying, I ain't never bothered nobody, but you don't, you don't have to bother nobody. Um, but yeah, uh, they don't control anything, not at all. I am in control of this. And I had to bring myself back to a place of peace, a place of, a place of calm, uh, listen to, you know, the things that I know that I, I need to listen to, to calm my mind, calm my spirit and everything, and remind myself that, you know, you are in control of this. Like, you've got this. Like, your future is bright. Your future is you know, don't be bringing stuff into your life negatively that is not there. Like, don't do that, <laughs> you know. So that's where I am, guys. Uh, still here. Uh, I'll be having to go back to work soon, though, too. Probably only a couple of days a week or whatever. Nothing major. Um, but I'm, I'm going to be doing that at least until some other things start coming through. I'll be doing that. Uh, still don't feel I'm really completely ready to do that because I still do have hand pain. I still have hand weakness and everything, but, um, I guess to just say anything, just limiting me from doing it is not really, but I'm still at a point to where I still should be taking it pretty easy. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but I'm going to be doing that and I'm doing it for various reasons, you know, to kind of get my money up, save and, you know, so that I will have a fallback um, because the devil is so busy and the devil wants you to fail and, and wants to see you fail. You know, it is so crazy. I'm going to say this and then I'm going to be done. But it, it is so crazy 
how in this day and time, you know, and I've said it before, we had another apartment manager over here. I am so ready to get out of apartments and I have been for, for years. Um, but these people, they, these people really don't care about just kicking you out for just whatever, whatever reason. Like they really seriously don't like, they really don't. If they have the ability to, and if they can, they will. They don't care nothing about your life. They don't care nothing about your stuff. I mean, most of these people just, you know, throw your stuff out on the streets anyway. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that, to me, still is one of the craziest things that ever began to happen. You know, because I come from a time when that used to not happen. You know, you had a chance to move or whatever. But now... You know, we've been in a trend for a while now where apartment people just go in your apartment and just throw your stuff out on the street. Because that is the craziest, most cr like, I, I still don't even understand that. Like, you can't keep people's stuff in their house long enough to give them time to get it out or whatever. Like, that is crazy to me. And it's just, it's demonic and it's done to be mean and evil. Like, I really, seriously, I see no other reason for people to do anything like that. You know, so anyway, I've never had it done. Uh, I'd be damned if I do have it done, <laughs> you know, but um, I, I'm going to begin to take precautions and do what I need to do. I really don't think it's going to come to that, honestly, uh, <clears throat> but it, it's just crazy. It is so crazy that in this day and time with so much homelessness and so much uh you know, people are still out of work. And I, I get the fact that it seems like a lot of people don't want to go back to work. But at the same time, you know, these these corporate apartments, you know, um, who are who are taken over by corporate corporations, you know, uh one company on, you know, fifteen thousand properties in fifty states and all of this crap. Like it's it's ridiculous, you know. They don't care. You reach out to them. I've reached out to these people twice. Not one letter, not one response, not one nothing. They they don't care. They they seriously do not care. You know what I'm saying? So you got to fight for yourself. You really do. Don't be treated unfair and just let people just do whatever they want to to you. Because even though I don't talk about that a lot, we're still very much in a time, and I know we're in the time, and always have been in America, where, you know, people still want to treat Black people any kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Single Black woman, she ain't, she ain't crap, whatever. You know, treat her whatever, do whatever, you know, and they'll do all kind of illegal stuff, which is what these people are actually doing right now. They just own some illegal sh stuff, you know? And if I just sat back and took it without, um, you know, without trying to fight at all, I'd just be on the streets, <laughs> you know, but I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm not going down without no fight. You know what I'm saying? So you guys, that is my update. That's where I am. That's what I've been doing. Um, things are just kind of busy right now with me and for me and you know i'll get back to my videos i'll get back to um making some form of video for you guys i don't know what it will be or how or whatever but you know the, the you know quite honestly these black men and the dating and how they act and i'm i'm, I'm really honestly just tired of it i, I really i it's exhausting because every day you can find another stupid, ignorant video of some black man saying, do, doing something stupid, ignorant, whatever. It's, it's, it's exhausting. And it's exhausting for me. It gets exhausting for me mentally because it's just like the level of stupidity, you know. And then, like I say, you find at the end of the day that these men just are kind of slow anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, guys, thanks for listening. Thank you for watching. And until the next video, we'll see you next time.